Uh, today's trip, I'm going to explore the surroundings around my new apartment. Um, you can see over here, this is my apartment building. And this is the highway that goes down to Kyoto, that way. And I don't know if you can make out in the video, but up here, there's something, there's the roof of a temple. So I'm not sure what temple that is. It might be the backside of Kiyomizadera, but I don't think so. Maybe Seikanji, or uh, there's another one close to there, I'm not really sure. So hopefully I can get to them by going up this road. So I'm going to ride my bike up there. There also appears to be something that looks like a water slide here. I've always wondered what that is, so let's go check them out. It's pretty steep. There's not much... Actually, there's no shoulder to speak of, so... It's probably a little bit dangerous, and it's pretty rough on my knees, but uh, I'm getting up in the trees, and it looks like there might be some beautiful views at the top. So this thing it. right here, I don't know if you can see it, it's a koi, or carp, giant carp, swimming around in an abandoned pool. So that thing that looked like a water park, I thought it might be some kind of a sluice associated with a quarry or something, but um, actually it is part of an abandoned water park. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, this is the way I just came from. So there's a kind of a crossroads here. You can see this way it looks like it keeps going up, but if we turn around this way should be the direction of Seikanji. So. It's almost 5. Most of the temples close at 5, so I'm a little uh, undecided about whether to try to go to the top or try to go to Seikanji, because I'm not even sure if this road leads to Seikanji, but uh, let's try for the temple. And, and here it is, uh, I think. And this is not even 10 seconds away from where I was just standing in the last video clip. So let's go up there and look around. So. Here's the temple. There's the, the moon's out already up there. So it looks like it's quite nice, but uh, I don't know if you can see here. It looks like the gate is closed, so we probably have arrived too late, unfortunately. Okay, but so let's check here we are. The thing we saw before was not the main gate. I'm at the main gate now. The main gate's open, but it's very strange. There's almost nobody around. I went the other way at that uh, crossing after I left the temple, and I came to the what appears to be the top here, but there's not really anything here, uh, except over on this side, there's a lookout, and I can see uh, Kyoto Tower off in the distance. So let's go check out the lookout. I don't really know where this is, but... It's totally worth it. You can see off in the distance, you can see Osaka, and you can see Kyoto Tower down here. Uh, you can see pretty much everything. You can see just on the other side of these um, trees appears to be Funokayama. That's my guess. Huh. Um, okay, I've come back uh, after the bike ride, and I'm looking on Google Maps um, at the route that I've taken. So you can see uh, this is about where I live here, and I this is the area where I rode up. And the, you can't really see it, but there's these little things here that look like... Um, it, it looks like little Ebola viruses, right? Right here. That's the water park, right? So I, dr I rode my bike up this thing called the Higashiyama driveway until I got to here. And then I went here. And this is the temple that I went to that you saw. But I'm, unfortunately in the video, I'm misnaming it. So um, you'll notice that it doesn't have a label. Whereas, um, if you look down here, so I'm 
this is where this is where I thought I was. I thought I was going to Seikanji Temple, but I did I didn't get there. The road is is much longer. So this thing that does not have a label is apparently the headquarters of a new religion called Agon Shu. So I'll put a a link in the description about Agon Shu, and um, this is the park that I went to, and this little gray spot is the lookout over Kyoto, and unfortunately I didn't go down this little road because I didn't know there was anything here, but this spot has extreme historical significance I've discovered from doing some research. It's called Shogun Zuka, and it is the place where Emperor Kanmu originally stood to observe the Kyoto Basin before making the decision to um, change the capital of Japan to Kyoto in, uh, over a thousand years ago.